If there's one thing I've learned traveling to Prepper Expos, it's that having the right preps can be the difference between life and death. With my final stops at the Denver Self-Reliance Expo, I'm putting a plan together to line up everything I need when it comes to getting out of Dodge. Item number one, a portable clean water solution. We're gonna use the Sawyer water bottle today. A lot of water you're gonna come into is gonna be dirty. You're gonna need a good filter to get that out. I've never seen a filter like like that. I mean, this is like my my little water bottle I'll take to the gym, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I am not drinking that. Ew. It tastes like clean water. A water filtration system that's small is one key item for your bug out bag. So is a medic pack. But if you're faced with a medical emergency, would you know what to do? I've been invited to get first-hand experience in a demonstration on stage right here at the expo. Are you are you scared? No. You're really not scared. No. It, we're, it's not gonna be that big. I wouldn't do this for a million dollars. James is going to make an incision in his own leg to show the importance of learning how to suture a wound. We're also going to use this this uh, pad to go ahead and sterilize our tools. This is really important. You're going to cut yourself with this? Yeah. Oh, So now that's kind of like a real wound that you could sustain in the field. It's not very big, but it is big enough that it's going to need stitches. That's gross. This is a suture. The part where you want to grip the suture is just about, you know, roughly three quarters of the way uh, up the shank, so you've got enough to work with. And then use your finger right here so that you have more control. You don't want it to be too tight because you can get necrosis there. It'll actually damage the tissue. So you want it to come just together till they touch. Take uh, this one and go twice around, once. Oh, God. Yep, you're good. Twice, awesome. Go ahead and pull. <laughs> nice. Pull a little harder. There you go. Not flat. Ah! Right on. Water filter, check. Suture skills, I'm working on that. One thing I do know is I want to ride out the end of days in style. And Robbie from Phoenix Pop-Up has a custom-made doomsday vehicle that I can't wait to check out. How has this been rigged out? To make it a bug out vehicle, we've uh, installed a larger propane compartment. So it uh, holds a lot more fuel. You can stay in one place once you arrive for a longer period of time and run the furnace, the stove, the water heater. Can you uh, take it out? Well, the propane tank is removable, okay. but actually the whole camper unit is removable as well. So the walls on your traditional camper are normally about one inch thick, which is about half as thick as this door frame. Oh, wow. On this camper, the walls themselves are actually as thick as this entire door frame. Therefore, you can stay about 70 degrees inside this bug out vehicle when it's negative 20 degrees outside. Ooh! Inside, the pop-up camper comes furnished with all the basics you'd have in your own home, as well as some dual-purpose items that any prepper would love. This is a stove and a sink? Yes. <gasps> this is the ultimate bug-out vehicle for a prepper, and definitely the icing on the cake of all I've learned here in Denver and all the expos okay. I've attended. I've gotten into some sticky situations, pushed myself to new heights, and made some great memories. But best of all, I've made a lot of new friends who have taught me more about prepping than I ever imagined. Who knew bugging out could be this fun?